Today, I will go with my friend to collect some water grass in the forest. This lovely green vegetable grow mainly in the winter, and you can find them easily near the stream or river in the forest. We are now in Dublin Mountain. I have been here a few times, and I know there is a stream running through this mountain. In December now, the weather is very cold. Perfect weather for the water grass. Like mushroom, the forest red table also grow wherever they want. But normally, they will grow back every year in the same spot. So, if you find them once, it's high chance that you will find them. How nice this small here. I know there is water grass growing here, so today I bring my basket to collect them for our lunch. We will have hot pot at home, and water grass is perfect vegetable for hot pot. In Asia, water grass is very popular vegetable. It's one of my favorite winter vegs. Super tasty and delicious. In Europe, water grass was once considered a weed. It was first cultivated in the UK in early 1800, but now it's farmed in over the world. Watergrass is now considered as a superfood. It contains a lot of vitamins, including A, C, E, and especially very high in vitamin K. A vitamin is very necessary for your blood and bones. Watergrass is also extremely high in antioxidants, which may help prevent a lot of disease, such as diabetes cancer and heart disease. It's also a very good source of vitamin C, which promotes a healthy immune system and reduces your risk of infection. So how the water grass look like? It's very easy to identify vegetable. If you can see something floating on the water, you can suspect it's a water grass. You can see the leaf is very green and normally it's round or oval and it's opposite side of each other in one stem and at the end the big is when have the bigger leaf. The main stem of the vegetable can be green and sometimes it can be a bit purple or a bit red but normally it's when be light green and it's hollow. Watercress normally win flower in summer and the flower is tiny white flower on normally on the top of the vest. And you can see that the root of the watercress is white and sticking out a lot along the stem of the watercress under the water. And one more key to identify the quattro grass is the smell of this rice table. It's very distinguished. It's the pepper smell. It's difficult to mistake it with anything else. It's only one rice table grow floating on the water that has that lovely pepper smell. It's a long way from the parking to the place that I found water grass last time and we are walking about 4 km already and hopefully we will find water grass very right soon. Here is the first spot. The vegetable not really look very good because the water in this spot is not really a lot and also the wind is very strong as well so a lot of vegetables already get destroyed a bit by the wind The 
wind is crazy strong today. It's very cold as well. To make my hand feel very cold, almost freezing. To touch the water crest. I think it's worth storming. It's possible it's storming from the morning. However, because we said that we go to the forest to collect some vegetables for the hot pot, so we still decided to go. You know, the weather in Ireland, if it's not nice weather and you decided to not going out, then you may not going out at all. So whatever the weather is, we still stick with the plan. And here we are on the top of the mountain collecting some watercress. Moving up, we found a better spot. The vegetable look better, bigger, and there's more water here. That's why the vegetable also grow bigger as well. And it's a bit more protected from the wind. So we decided to stay here longer and try to collect full of the baskets before we going home. Really feel freezing already. It's very very cold and windy, and it's so difficult to even control my scissor to cut the vegetable. What you see in here is actually have the water underneath, but it's quite dry already because of the strong wind, I think. And the water grass even grow up to the grass as well. It's mixture with a lot of grass. Smells super lovely. A lot of people love to eat watercress raw. So as you know, if you go to supermarket, it's easy to find a pack of watercress salad, and you can eat it immediately. However, if you collect the watercress by yourself on the river or in the forest, it's better to cook them well before eating. I have full baskets of watercress now and we are ready to head back home. Actually we're running out of time. It's quite late in the afternoon and we are both very hungry. So we try to walk back as far as possible. So you know it's will be about 4 km to go down and then take a car and drive home. Even though it's very cold and windy, it's a very nice day. I had very good time in the forest. On another occasion, 
I will show you how to cook the watercress in Vietnamese style.